women used to turn heads with only their grace and charm. What happened? The sirens of style disappeared, leaving us adrift in a sea of mediocrity. A sad spectacle, but there is still hope. Beyond the fashion apocalypse happening as we speak, there is an opportunity to reclaim the lost art of dressing with intention and elegance. Today we get some juicy inspiration from the 90s and see how to do this like a lady. Many 2024 fashion trends look unrefined and lacking sophistication. Style is sacrificed for convenience, conformity, or worse, the unconventional. Later in this video, we'll show you what to avoid wearing. Stay tuned and find out how to dress more feminine this year. Fashion is not focusing on elegant silhouettes and timeless sophistication anymore. We are seeing many women wearing shapeless garments and mismatched accessories nowadays. Let's go back to an age where wearing shorts to an official event was never an option. Picture this. The year is 1994. The Rachel haircut from Friends is a new sensation. In May, at a movie's premiere, Elizabeth Hurley caused a major stir with her Versace safety pin gown. People hated it, and people loved it. But the fashion critics are not yet prepared for what will happen. In June of that same year, Princess Diana stole the spotlight with a spontaneous and unforgettable outfit she wore for a Vanity Fair party at the Serpentine Gallery. It was scandalous and looked so effortless that this iconic outfit was dubbed the revenge dress. Wouldn't you want to slip into a dress and feel like a million bucks? The first 90s trend we can draw inspiration from is the little black dress. It was not an invention of that decade. It made its debut long before and it had just made an explosive comeback. Here's how to style it for a special occasion. Pick a tailored dress made from a textured material. Wear dainty jewellery or no jewellery at all. It is exactly what Margot Robbie did at the 2024 Oscars and she looked amazing. Saying yes to the black dress does not only mean this is the only trend you should focus on. There is always the option of changing the colour of the garment to complement your skin tone. For example, Julia Roberts' iconic red dress, the one she wore in the 1990 romantic comedy Pretty Woman, is echoed in Ellie Saab's 2024 spring collection. Another trend from the 90s that is making a comeback now is the slip dress. We call it the spring dress lately, and it is the fastest way to put together a chic and effortless look. A feeling of vulnerability and grace comes with wearing a flowy dress. It will simply make you feel more feminine after putting it on. Its lightweight fabric and fluid silhouette make it a go-to option for any lady who likes to feel sophisticated yet relaxed. Wear it with sandals and a tote bag, and don't forget your sunglasses. It is an alternative to help you spice things up and ditch the jeans and white t-shirt look for a day or two. Speaking of that, wearing jeans and a white shirt, or a white t-shirt, is another 90s trend we all can draw inspiration from. It is a classy outfit that says you are confident, active, and ready for a bright day. For example, here's the iconic black cardigan, white tee, and jeans outfit that Julia Roberts rocked back in the days, walking through an LAX terminal. Also, remember when Kate Moss looked fabulous in the Calvin Klein jeans ad campaign? That happened in 1992, and jeans will never get out of style. You can pair a crisp white button-down shirt with high-waisted jeans and pointed toe heels and get the simplest, sophisticated, yet casual look. With a statement belt and sleek accessories, you will get a modern outfit. The white shirt is, in itself, a fashionable garment of timeless elegance. Princess Diana often sported a classic white shirt paired with tailored trousers or jeans. It is a classy, cool mum outfit that will never feel outdated. In the 90s, white pants or trousers were a trend. Friends was a big sensation and every girl wanted to be like Jennifer Aniston's Rachel, the fashion icon, socialite, charming girl. The famous actress actually wore white pants outfits on several occasions. She embodied effortless chic through her character in the series wearing a white power suit. If you want an easy styling solution, here's how to do it in 2024. Pair white trousers with a white tank top and a denim shirt. Wear the shirt open, more like a lightweight jacket. Accessorize with delicate gold jewelry and sandals to tune into the summery vibe. Denim shirts and jeans will never go out of fashion. Cindy Crawford also rocked denim effortlessly during the 90s. She often paired jeans with simple tops. If your challenge is to wear double denim right, 
Then pick a classic blue denim shirt, tuck it into high-waisted jeans. It will be reminiscent of Cindy Crawford's iconic style. You can layer a striped blouse underneath and finish the look with white sneakers. A pair of oversized sunglasses will give the outfit a touch of retro glamour. Here's another trend back from the past, the black trousers. Winona Ryder was known for her edgy yet sophisticated style. In the 90s, she wore black pants paired with tailored blazers. The result was amazing, a sleek and polished look. If you wish to channel this signature style, a tweed blazer and a simple fitted black t-shirt will complement a pair of black trousers. The outfit works well with pointed toe ankle boots and silver hoop earrings. It looks and feels both modern and sophisticated. In fact, the tweed blazer is an item we could borrow from the 90s and still make it work. It will give off old money vibes. The look could be elegant and feminine. You're probably wondering how to avoid looking dated. Pair a tweed blazer with white pants and white heels. This ensemble will look modern, polished and sophisticated. Don't forget to wear a white shirt underneath and accessorize with pearl earrings and maybe a structured handbag. Striped shirts were also popular. You could spot celebrities wearing them with anything during the 90s. Their style was laid back, effortlessly mixing various pieces. Try a modern look and wear the classic striped shirt with white pants and black ankle boots. It goes well with skirts and jeans too. Now, let's talk about casual and comfy footwear. The classic Adidas Samba shoes, or Sambas, are back and trending. They were first released on the market in the 60s. In the 1990s, skateboarders wore the Samba, propelling its rise in popularity. If I could recall another legendary outfit from that time, it would be Sporty Spices, aka Mel C's, iconic athleisure-inspired ensembles. She rocked sports footwear as part of her looks, and here's how to do it right. Adidas Sambas go well with high-waisted black jeans. You can add a cropped striped shirt. Your denim jacket could be layered on top. A pair of Sambas also work well with mom jeans, flowy black skirts or denim skirts. Plenty of essentials in your wardrobe will allow you to elevate every casual attire. The cardigan and the blazer are the last two pieces of the puzzle. For day-to-day -day wear, these essentials are still the go-to items. In the 90s, snug garments were combined with cardigans, grunge flannel shirts and baggy jeans or overalls. Nowadays, you can rock figure-hugging tops and combine them with blazers. Julia Roberts rocked the oversized blazer look. Cindy Crawford, Winona Ryder and Gwyneth Paltrow styled the leather blazer with blue jeans and white or black tops. For a day at the office, leather might be too much. Go for a tailored pair of trousers with an oversized blazer and the same colour top instead. You can do all white or all grey and feel sophisticated. To get a feminine effect, cinch the waist of your oversized blazer. Use a belt in the complementary colour or a statement piece with complex detailing. Finish the look with slim fit trousers or high waisted skirts. The accessories you pick must be dainty. Try wearing some layered necklaces and delicate earrings. The 90s were interesting to look at. When seeing pictures from that decade, you get a sense of nostalgia. The classic looks can be reinvented for our modern age. Fashion is not just clothes we wear. It becomes a reflection of our history, identity and creativity. And sometimes trends can be ridiculous. That is why you should prevent being the victim of some 2024 trends that will make you look less feminine. Learn how to avoid them from our next video.